Hello students. In the previous videos, we discussed about catalysis, its types like homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis. In homogeneous catalysis, the catalyst and the reactant are in the same phase, but in the heterogeneous catalysis, they are in the different phase. So let us discuss uh, what are the theories are given in heterogeneous catalysis. Theories of heterogeneous catalysis. First, the old theory was given, which is called as adsorption theory. Then the intermediate compound formation theory, and the last one, modern adsorption theory. So let us discuss these theories in detail. First one, an old theory which is called as adsorption theory. That means this is based on the process of adsorption. Let us discuss this theory. In this theory, let us discuss will with a picture here. Let I am considering the two reactants here. That is A and B are the two reactant let. I am marking A the green color balls with A and this is let it is B. Let A plus B give rise to the product AB. Now what happened? The first the particles like A that the reactant particles A and B it start to get absorbed on the surface of catalyst. This is catalyst catalyst here it is a solid catalyst so first the gases or the reactant particles a and b get adsorbed on the surface of a catalyst so when it get adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst at a particular places which is called as free valencies or the active sites so when it get adsorbed as we know that the process of adsorption is exothermic so it start to release energy that means heat or the energy is given out and this energy is utilized in order to enhance the rate of reaction. That means according to this theory, the surface of the catalyst has some free valencies where the reactant molecules get adsorbed. That is important here. The particles are adsorbed. Since adsorption is an exothermic process which we have learnt, the heat or the energy which is released during the adsorption is utilized in enhancing the rate of reaction. Thus, greater the concentration of reactant on the surface, greater will be the rate of reaction. So, we can conclude this theory as the reactants in the gases or in the solutions are adsorbed on the surface of solid catalyst. This increases the concentration of reactant on the surface. Adsorption being an exothermic process, the heat of adsorption is utilized in enhancing the rate of reaction. That means this theory is fully based upon the adsorption process. The second one is intermediate compound formation theory. Let us discuss what this theory says. According to this theory, there is a formation of intermediate, which is called as intermediate complex. So let us discuss this with an equation. Here A and B are the reactants and C is the catalyst. So what this theory says, first the reactant combines with the catalyst that means it form an an in a temporary bond it forms you can see here a and b there is a temporary bond formation between a b and c this is not a permanent bond it's a temporary bond formation takes place and this whole compound is called as intermediate complex so this theory stress on the formation of intermediate complex and later on this intermediate will break up into product plus 
see that is catalyst is regenerated here so this theory focus on the formation of intermediate with a catalyst of reactant and later on which give rise to product and catalyst so the catalyst is at the end of the reaction it is unchanged that means its mass and composition will not changes it remain as it is what we have in the reactant that's why the catalysts are required in very small quantity because after each reaction the catalyst will remain as it is so this reaction sorry this theory stress on the intermediate formation so we can write here what is the theory occurrence of the chemical reaction on the surface of the catalyst through the formation of intermediate next we will discuss the modern adsorption theory modern adsorption theory is actually the combination of first two theory that means the first theory that is the old adsorption theory adsorption theory plus the intermediate theory so the modern theory is actually the combination of these two it is actually given make by combining the other two theories so let us this adsorption modern adsorption theory so let us discuss in steps in first step what happened diffusion of reactant to the surface of catalyst that means the first the reactant a and b which it first it diffuses to the active site of catalyst which is shown here and in the second step what happen when it get diffuses on the surface it's get adsorbed you can see here now the particles are adsorbed on the surface of catalyst third step occurrence of chemical reaction on the surface of the catalyst to the formation of intermediate that means now here intermediate formation is there so first the particles have diffused on the surface then adsorption takes place then formation of intermediate so this is all taking place on the surface of the catalyst this is catalyst this is all takes place in the surface of catalyst now after intermediate formation what happens there is a formation of product you can see here these are the product form this is the product this is a and b now there is a formation of a permanent bond and this formation is taking place in the surface on the surface of catalyst so once the product was formed it start to get dissolve dissolve means the leaving of molecule from the surface so on the surface formation of product takes place and then it start to leave the surface that is called as desorption now desorption of product takes place and the surface of the catalyst again available for the more reaction so the last one the product which is formed it get diffused away from the surface of the catalyst now the surface of the catalyst is available free for the other reactions so we can summarize this modern theory in making the steps first step that is the diffusion diffusion of reactant to the surface of catalyst as shown in the figure then the particles of a reactant get adsorbed then th third then reaction takes place on the surface of a catalyst and finally desorption takes place and the particles get diffused of product so these are the uh, this is the modern adsorption theory so we can summarize in the four or five steps of which include both the formation of an intermediate and there is an adsorption that's why i told it's a combination of the other two theories so like this we uh, finished the theories in heterogeneous catalysis in the next video we'll be discussing about the some important features of a catalyst
ओके सो थैंक यू एवरीवन